Hello everyone, welcome to Narasia Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. In this session, we are continuing collections framework topics. As part of this, we are discussing in this session two different formats to collect objects. One of the very important topics of collections, it is a very base topic of the collections. Okay? So, it is a very simple topic, just try to remember what I am explaining in this session. Before entering into this topic, let us try to revise what we discussed in previous sessions about array problems. Okay? Have a look at it. Array problems, array has a four problems we know, homogeneous elements only allowed, size limitation is there. Okay, once you store objects, we cannot remove and we cannot uh, uh, store the elements beyond its length or its capacity. Does not support inbuilt methods to perform different operations and cannot store objects in a different formats and different orders. These are the four problems. If you remember, uh, we have already solved first three problems. First one is what? Homogeneous problem we solved by choosing object array and uh, size limitation problem we have solved by implementing our own custom collection with the algorithm growable array or resizable array algorithm uh, does not have inbuilt methods to perform different operations for that. In the same custom collection, we have implemented some more additional methods like insert method, remove method, replace method, retrieve method, all additional methods we develop in our custom collection for solving the problem of inbuilt operation supporting methods. So, in previous session, we have discussed on the topic what how to solve the array 4 problems by our own. So, if you know the internals of all these points, then understanding Sun Microsystem given collections very easy. So, that is why my worry is first making you understand about how to develop the code, how to solve the problems of array by ourselves. Then, now I would like to move to the fourth problem to solve what is that cannot store objects in a different formats and different order. Okay. So, for solving this problem, first of all, you should have an idea on what are the different formats we can store objects and what are the different orders we can store and retrieve objects. This is the point we wanted to understand here. Okay. Right. So, have a concentration here. Uh, now, observe here how many different formats we can store the object. There are two formats we can store objects actually. Number one, array format. Number two, table format. Next point, try to concentrate. Uh, what are the different orders we can uh, store objects? Not only storing, after storing I want retrieve. Uh, you can store objects in indexed order, we can store objects in insertion order, we can store objects in sorting order. Okay. After storing the objects inside collection, while retrieving we can retrieve objects in two different orders, last in first out order and first in first out order. Are you following? So, totally we have to concentrate on fourth problem different formats and different orders. We can store objects in different format, two different formats, array format and table format and different orders that is what uh, five different orders we can store indexed based order, insertion order and sorting order, LIFO order, FIFO order we can store. Okay. How can we store objects in these orders? For this purpose, again you have to develop some more additional logic. Here I am giving you only an idea about array format and table format. Uh, I do not want to more time spend on this custom collection development. So, getting an idea on growable array is more than enough to understand the story. Okay, right? So, no need to worry much about array format, table format, code development. Okay. Now, at this minute, I would like to concentrate only on what are the different formats, array format and table format. So, in this session, what is the meaning of array format, what is the meaning of table format, following by what are the Sun Microsystem given collection classes to store elements in array format and table format. That is the this session motto. Okay. So, now let me try to concentrate array format and table format discussion. Small, small diagrams I will explain. Please try to observe here. Uh, please try to concentrate here. First, let us try to understand what is the meaning of array format and what is the meaning of table format. First, let us see array format. I wanted to collect the data, I want to store some objects. For storing the objects using collection, I can use arrays in array format. For example, I would like to store my employee data, my data 7279 HK Hari and uh, Nareshai Technologies and I am taking Java. So, array format means what all these values are storing in indexed format 0, 1, 2, 3. This is array format, simple array format. Ah, now, try to answer. You show this data to any of your friends who do not know about me, okay? who do not know about me. So, just to show this data to your friends and ask, tell me something about this data. Everybody know about Naresha technologies, no doubt. But some of people may or may not know about me. 
then they may feel something like this. Try to think. Hari Krishna is a student of Naresha Technologies, learning Java by paying 7,279 rupees. Wonderful statement prepared by your friend. Is this right? It is a wrong. Why it is wrong? I am not the student of Naresha IT, I am the employee of Naresha IT. Actual information about this data is, try to observe, Hari Krishna is a employee in Naresha Technologies, teaches Java with employee number what? 7279. So, 7279 is a employee number, Hari Krishna is employee name, Naresha IT is institute and Java is the subject. So, that is the information. So, if you collect the data in the array format, the problem here is identity is missing. So, how many formats we have? Two formats. What are the two formats? Array format and table format. Now, if you collect the data in array format, you must store data in this pattern. Once you store data in this pattern, as a data collecting person, I know this meaning of this data, but once I share this data to another person, then that person may or may not correctly interpret this data. So, as a solution to this problem, another pattern you can choose, what is that? Table format. A table format is nothing but key value pair format, key value pair format. Okay. So, 7279 is a value, this value requires some identity, that identity is nothing but key. So, generally in database terminology we call uh, key is nothing but metadata, something called metadata we use. So, now let me try to form this data in the table format. Uh, now, 7279 for store I am taking employee number 7279, employee name Hari Krishna Institute Naresh IT and next teachers teachers Java. So, this is the data. Uh, now, please try to tell me, if you show this data to any of your friends, now those people will correctly interpret this data. Uh, 7279 is employee number, Hari Krishna is employee name, Naresh IT is institute and Java is uh, subject he teaches. Right? So, here uh, this is a table format, right observe, this employee number, employee name, institute teachers, this is called key and 7279 it is called value. So, that is what I am telling, key value pair and it is a table format I am calling because look at there, there are two columns are there and four rows are there. So, what is the simple format? Array is having a problem. What is the problem? It cannot maintain data in a different formats and different orders. By default, array can store data only in indexed order as I am showing here. But in indexed order, if you store data, data identity is missing. I want layman as to see the data, then he cannot understand. Further, we have to choose for a table format. Uh, now, can you please tell me? How many formats we have? Two formats, array format and table format. Uh, if you store data in array format, identity is not there. If you store data in a table format, identity is there. Then by listening this statement, maybe you are understanding wrongly. Okay? Try to observe. Which is the best approach of collecting the data? Can you please try to think? Array format, if you store data, there is no identity. Table format, if I store data, identity is there. Uh, then now tell me, which is the best approach to collect the objects in the projects? Array format or table format? Can you please try to think and tell me? Which approach is good? I know you have chosen option, table format is the best because data contains identity, other people can easily understand. Always remember, when there are multiple approaches are there, every approach is good and every approach is having good and bad both. So, based on the situation, you have to select the approach. You should not take the decision that is good, this is worst or this is good, that is worst. No, should not take that. You have to choose the, uh, the situation when I have to follow that approach and or when I should follow this approach. Okay, let me give some examples. Do not tell that is best, this is best. You have to choose which approach I have to follow based on situation. Now, I will give you one scenario. Please try to think. I wanted to carry student numbers in my institute, how many students available in Naresh IT, all Naresh IT student numbers I wanted to carry from one class method to another class. 
or I wanted to carry multiple student names without size limitation from one class method to another class method as parameter. In that case, array format is sufficient. Why you need table format? Student names, all names is nothing but student name, where is identity required, not required. So, all student numbers, identity itself is a student number, no need of any identity. So, if you want to carry multiple same type of values, then array format is good. So, I have to use a collection object that can carry data in array format uh, for carrying same type of multiple values. Okay, if you want to think somewhat literally high level, I have all students data nothing but one one student data as a student object first student object second student object third student object all student objects i wanted to take from one up one class method to another class method in that case array format is sufficient no need of any identity are you following i want to use a collection for carrying for taking data from one class method to another class method one student all values one student contain multiple different type of values i must show compulsory identity here one value differentiating from another value in that case i must choose what table format keys must required so conclusion what i wanted to give here there are two formats we can collect the objects using collections Number one, array format grouping collections are there. Number two, key value pair format grouping collections are there. Two types of collections are there. I wanted to carry same type of multiple values or same type of multiple objects. Then I must choose array format collections. I wanted to carry different type of values or different type of objects from one application to another application. I means one class method to another class method. Then you must choose table format. Please try to remember these two points. Then, now I have a question. We develop NIT collection, nothing but growable array algorithm we develop or resizable array algorithm we develop. So, the custom collection we develop uh, to solve the array problem and the collection class which I have developed, it is nothing but if you remember NIT collection we develop, right? Uh, can you tell me, now try to recollect and tell me this NIT collection class background logic develop based upon which format, array format or table format, can you please recollect? Array format now. So, we are accepting only one object. So, NIT collection supporting only what? Array format of grouping objects. Then, if you wanted to support table format also, it is your responsibility to develop one more new class. Do not develop, not required. Okay, Sun already developed. Let us try to analyze how I should write the code. No need to develop again, I am telling. Just I will give an idea. If you are interested, try to develop in your system. At this minute, just I wanted to give an idea. So, try to recollect once again. Array format to group. How many arrays are required? One array is sufficient. But I want to store in table format means how many arrays are required? Two arrays. For storing key, one array. For storing value, another array. Two arrays are required. So, what are the changes I have to introduce to develop my own collection to support na table format? Very simple. Few steps you have to implement. Let us try to see what are the steps. Uh, step number one, change the class name of NIT table. Let me take. Okay, because table format, I am taking name as what? NIT table. Take the class name, change from NIT collection to NIT table. Uh, second modification you ought to introduce. Tell me, I want to store in array format object. How many? One object. But how many objects I have to store in table format key value pair? Two objects. So, now add method must take two parameters, object 1 and object 2. Object 1 is a key, object 2 is what? Value. So, in NIT collection, we have add method only with one parameter, but in NIT table, add method with two parameters must be there. Uh, can you tell me one third option? Now, I am keep on adding, 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 adding. Then, ultimately, at some point of the time, now the objects are reached to its capacity of this uh, two areas. Then, I have to increase the capacity. For increasing capacity, uh, what you have to increase? I must increase the capacity of both areas. Am I right? I have to increase the capacity of both arrays, key array capacity and also value array capacity, I must increase equally. So, that is all, these are the three changes, very simple difference. In NIT collection, we are concentrating working on one array, uh, in NIT table, you have to concentrate on two arrays, that is all. Uh, 
first point I want this add method should add key object in key array and value object in value array in the same index 0 index and second entry nothing but second key value pair should store in one index and then second index and then third index. So, very simple story what is that I have to create a NIT table to support a table format with the two arrays uh, one is a key array. I can say it is a key array object and it is what value array object with the equal capacity 10 and 10. Then add method should take two objects as argument first object should store in 0 index and the second value object also should store in 0 index of key and value then automatically background we can imagine they get what uh, mappings. Okay. So, these are the changes you have to do in NIT collection. Again, I am telling no need to develop this entire class, only idea is sufficient, idea is sufficient and that the code is already developed by Sun Microsystem, let us try to use them. Okay. Let us stop developing our own code by ourselves, let us start using Sun Microsystem given code. Uh, then let us try to recollect final point and then I want to give you one more point here. Uh, how many formats fourth point? To solve the fourth point now we have to understand what the different formats we can store two formats array format and table format and also our uh, different orders what index order, insertion order and sort, uh, sorting order, LIFO order, FIFO order. There are totally these many functionalities or orders or what you call uh, formats we have to support. For that purpose we develop NIT collection first. NIT collection is supporting only array format. We we have to do some code changes in uh, NIT collection to achieve table format. Again, I am telling no need to write the code for that purpose Sun Microsystem code we are going to use. Uh, now, let me try to analyze Sun Microsystem already given several classes in java.util package, several classes given in java.util package. Now, the java.util package contains collections classes given by Sun Microsystem. Can you tell me how many minimum classes Sun Microsystem given? Definitely two classes. What are the two classes? One is for supporting array format, another is for supporting table format. Am I right? There are two ways we are going to collect objects. Then to support array format, the class is vector. To support key value pair format, the class is hash table. Very, very simple, simple words. Please try to catch my point. Uh, how many formats we can collect objects? Two formats. Number one, array format. Number two, what? Table format. To group objects in array format, Sun Microsystem given a special class with the name called vector. Uh, now, table format to group objects, nothing but key value pair format. Sun Microsystem given a class called what? Hash table. Two classes are available. Is this clear? Uh, so, can you please try to think I want to uh, carry multiple student numbers or multiple student objects from one class to another class then you have to choose which class vector. Okay. I wanted to carry multiple values from one class to another class with identity key value pair format I must use hash table. So, this is the basic idea on how many different formats and we have understood all four problems of array and their respect to solutions to provide given classes by Sun Microsystem. Now, tell me all these four problems solutions are given by two classes initially. What are the two classes? Can you tell me repeat vector and hash table classes. First, we have to work with vector and hash table classes and then now we will identify some problems that exist in vector and uh, hash table class. To solve these two problems, we are going to introduce so many other classes given in a collections framework topic as part of Java 1.2. So, now this is the basic idea what I wanted to share. I hope you got some good idea on today topic. Okay.